Hey guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is My Little Everdell by Starling Games. It plays one to four players, takes about roughly 30 minutes to play, and it's for ages six and up. And as you can tell, this is the younger version of the game Everdell. This game is played for families and for kids. You're basically going to be building your own little woodland creature village, attempting to gather resources, purchase cards, which will be either critters or forts, and placing them down onto your tableau. At the end of the game, if you have the most points because of the way you built your village, you will be the winner of the game. There's also a solo mode and an easier mode for kids that will include a fort and a captain that you can go ahead and use at the beginning of the game if you would like to kind of balance the scales when playing with older adults. Anyway, let's get into the setup of the game, how to play, and of course, my review. To begin the setup of the game, My Little Everdell, the first thing you'll do is you'll place the board within reach of all players. Then you're going to take the resources of the little cute uh, fruits, the wood, and the amber and place them in their bins and place them next to these spaces. Roll all four die and place them down in each of the respective spaces and then you have these little parades. You'll shuffle them up, uh, or sort them out I should say, based on their category and place the highest coin on the top, the next highest, the next highest, and finally the lowest on the bottom and separate them into four spaces. Then you'll take the deck of cards, you'll shuffle them up, and you'll place out eight underneath the game board. Make sure that you have coins within reach of all players in a separate bin. For each player that you're playing with, they're going to get a home space board, three critters, and then if you're choosing to play with little kids, you can give them the captain and the fort to start off with, and if you want, you can also give them one of every resource to give them an upper edge advantage in the game. But otherwise, you don't have to play with these. Make sure that you have your moon space token on the beginning round tracker at the top of the board, and give the first player a little sun to start the game. Playing the game My Little Everdell is simple as well. The first player is going to be the one who starts, but first you're gonna to have to take all the die and you'll roll them and then you'll position them as the first player. After you have done that, then you're going to begin by selecting one of your characters and placing them on any of the spaces that have a paw print. If there's a space with one paw print, only one character can go there. However, if there are many paw prints, as many number of critters as you'd like to place on those spaces can go there. The lower end spaces are going to gather you the resources based on the die, and then the upper end are going to give you one resource of the type that you place your character on. When you do so, you'll gather the resource or resources if you're on dice, then you can place it into your area. Then, next you'll be able to select one of the uh, cards in the bottom areas. You can select any of the eight that are available, but you have to make sure that you afford them. And on the top of the card, it will symbolize whether you can pay for it or not. So this guy here is going to cost one fruit. And if you have that fruit, you can spend it, and then you'll take the card and place it into your tableau. Whenever a card is revealed and removed, you'll place a new one down in the space that it pre previously occupied. Then you'll check to see if you met any of the parade criteria. If you have five critters or five forts, you'll take the top one of these guys. Or if you have a variation of different symbols, you'll take these. Three of any type or one of every type. These will give you points for bonuses at the end of the game. You can only get one of each, but you can get all of them. The next thing that will happen is each player in turn order will do the same. They will place one of their critters out onto a space. Then they're going to collect the resources, gather one of the cards if they can, and move on. Once everybody has had a chance to go, then the next, the, the next round will start with the beginning player and you'll use your second guy. And then finally, it'll go again for the next round and you'll use your third guy. When every single player is out, then you're going to be able to move the round marker from the first to second space. The beginning of every single round when you move the marker, you're going to check to make sure that you don't have any symbols with a little green icon. And if you do, you're going to gain the resources represented on the card. After you've gathered those resources, the round will proceed as normal. And basically, you're going to be gathering those resources, getting cards, rinsing, repeating, until the fourth round of the game is over. So after everybody takes three turns, the next round, then everybody takes three turns again, the next round, and so on and so forth, until the last and final round, in which case you'll check your points. You'll check to see your parade bonuses, all of your cards, and any card bonuses, like the purple cards that you might have, and then you'll get resource bonuses as well. And that player who has the most points is the winner. My Little Everdell is the family equivalent of the game Everdell. If you enjoy Everdell and own Everdell and have kids who probably can't play Everdell, then this is the game for you because now you can bring that experience to light for your younger ones. Additionally, if you've never heard of Everdell and you have kids that are between the ages of six to 10, then this is going to be a perfect game as well. Everdell is an excellent game. It's won my seal of approval for each of the expansions, the high quality components, the beautiful illustrations and artwork by Andrew Bosley have never disappointed and this is no exception to that rule. The boards are nice, 
thick quality. It's going to be easy for kids to grab them. All of the parade markers are thick. The cards are sturdy and will be used from game to game without a problem. Giving the ability to handicap the adults by giving the kids forts and captains and additional resources is a nice twist and variation for the adults to have to strive to beat the kids by uh, having somewhat of a more difficult time. All of the different little markers for all the different critters are wonderful as well, and the resources are just like the ones in Everdell. Having to construct the boxes is the only work required in order to start the game, and the rounds are simple and straightforward. Once you get through the first time, you'll understand the rest of the game easily. You're most likely going to go through the entire deck every single game, or at least close to it. That's just how the game is built. And you're not going to have to worry about certain rules in the original Everdell, like how many, time, how many cards you can have, because there's a limited amount based on how many turns there are in the game, because this is drastically short. The game has a ton of little combinations that you can add. There is some thought processes, strategies, and choices you'll have to make to try and score the most points. And for kids, this is going to be perfect. Understanding that, okay, the queen is going to give me one point for every parade, so I need to get all the parades. So I'll need five mice, and I'll need five forts, and I'll need one of every color, and I'll need three of one specific color, and if I do that, I'll get those, uh, three points the queen gives me and the four bonus points as well from the parades along with the parade points and they start building these combinations in their head and it's kind of a great first time tableau builder. Overall, this game is an excellent game. I enjoy it completely. Each of the different pieces of illustration is wonderful. Feeling like you're building a little fort out in the woods with your little critters is great as well. The cards are highly illustrated. Andrew Bosley always does amazing artwork for this game, and I am always impressed every time I see it. This is staying in my collection. Whenever I have kids over, this is going to be one of those games I pull out because it's so easy to teach, so easy to learn, and so quick to get into the game and understand how it works. Even with a game that has full-on adults and no kids at all, I still had a wonderful time playing My Little Everdell, which just goes to show how excellent this game is. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game My Little Everdell by Starling Games. If you're interested in picking this game up, there's a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and grab My Little Everdell for the family and for your kids. This is going to be an excellent Christmas present if you picked it up for them. Additionally, you can go ahead and check out our website unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. More videos here on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so you can see more videos of us every single day, Monday through Friday, and Sunday is our live stream where we play this game itself. And you can go ahead and check that video out to see if it'll make it more of you more interested in purchasing the game. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to venturing into the world of Everdell again with you next time.